Hey everyone, my name is Ryan and I am a man with lupus. In today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about something that I'm having a really hard time with lately, which is exercise. Finding a way to keep my body physically fit, active, moving, all while dealing with a pretty severe case of lupus. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So in today's video, I wanted to have a quick little conversation about something that I'm really struggling with, and that is my physical fitness. Now, most people struggle with physical fitness. Most people in America are, you know, it's difficult. It's difficult to commit to something. It's difficult to get up and actually do it. The, you know, physical activity isn't the easiest thing in the world. Exuding yourself extra is not the easiest thing in the world. So actually going out and having the energy to be physically active is difficult. And when you have a condition like lupus, something that for me specifically is full of fatigue, horrendous joint and muscle pain, and definitely mental health consequences, it makes it very hard to keep up with my physical health. Now today's video isn't really about me bringing solutions to you, however you may find some inspiration in my story, but really what I wanted to do is start a dialogue down in the comments section down below where we can have conversations about, you know, what have you guys found that has made working out, remaining physically active easier for you? What is it that you do to remain as active as possible? How do you deal with, you know, being frustrated and feeling less than and feeling pathetic and embarrassed about, you know, the struggles that you're having physically? Because for me, what I've really been running into lately is, is that, first of all, I can't go to the gym as much as I would like. I used to go five, six, seven times a week, and now I'm down to maybe two or three max. I used to be able to go in and go, you know, 80, 90%, just full on, give it my all, and now I'm struggling even to get to the gym because of my fatigue and my pain. And when I do make it, I can't do everything everybody else does. Um, you know, for those of you who haven't been following the channel, you you uh, might be interested to know that I'm a jujitsu practitioner. I love jujitsu. I like the fact that, um, you know, it's low impact. I'm not getting slammed on the ground. I'm not getting hit or punched or strike, you know, struck. Um, it, it's a combat sport, but as far as combat sports go, it's as, um, the ability to train full force is there, whereas most combat sports you can't. You can't go out and you know kick people in the head over and over. They they can't sustain that forever. So jujitsu is great because it's a lot of physical strength training. It's a lot of agility, stretching. Um, you know, it, it's it's not it's different. I guess is what I'm trying to say. And at, even though it is a softer sport as far as impact goes and, um, you know, and training goes, I, I just, I can't keep up. So I go into the class and I, and of course I'm a man, I walk in the class and there's all these other men there and I have to go sit on the sideline for half the class. I have to take it easy. I have to go with specific people who know how not to hurt me. I have to, you know, sit out from some of the more intense drills, more of the sparring, because I can't stand it. I can't put up with it. If I go in and I and I actually put myself through a class, I might be able to work myself through the class, but I am going to be so sick afterward, and it will be days on end. I used to do this to myself, where before I had my diagnosis, I was really having a hard time accepting that there was anything wrong with me. And so I would just push myself and force myself and I would go in and I would go 100% and then later on that day, guess what? I'd have a fever, a migraine, I'd start getting depressed, I'd start dealing with severe, severe joint pain, um, memory issues, I mean just everything, it would go out of control and I would be down for three or four days. I would usually wake up the next day and be so fatigued I couldn't even get out of my bed. 
You know, so once I got my lupus diagnosis, I started really kind of giving myself a break and saying, well, you don't need to go that hard, Ryan. You don't need to be the toughest guy at the gym. You don't need to do every drill. You don't need to spar. You know, you don't need to do these things. However, up here, that's really messing with me because my limitation isn't my drive or or my willingness to to exercise it's my body telling me no and it's been really hard on me it's been really really hard on me um, the other piece that's very difficult for me is that um, you know there there's studies done that show that people who are physically active are much less likely to suffer from depression anxiety mental health issues and things like that my lupus is really affecting my mental health. We are doing some imaging and things looking at my brain right now because we are suspecting that I may have neuropsychiatric lupus or at the very least inflammation in the brain or something going on because my flares trigger my mental health so bad. And, um, and you know, if I'm not able to go out and exercise, it's just going to make my mental health that much worse. And so, for me, physical fitness, exercise is detrimental. It's absolutely just detrimental to my health, to my well-being. And yet, my body is telling me I can't do it. And so for me, what I have done is I've continued to show up. I have continued to go as often as I can. I have modified the workouts and the exercises so that it doesn't hurt me so that I don't have to push myself too far and then I can't train again for a week because I overdid it. Um, but I honestly think that the most important thing that I have done which has kept me coming back and remaining physically active is that I found some people at my gym that I really trust that I was able to confide in and tell them what is going on with me so they know and they understand. And then I just keep them in the loop, you know? So I have a couple really good friends at the gym, um, you know, I would say two or three of them that I just talk to on a regular basis, not even about the gym. I just let them know, hey, feeling shitty today, not a good day. My joints are killing me today. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to class. Just being very open and honest. And these people have continuously shown me love and support through all of this. My sensei, Danny, he has been absolutely amazing. He, he, he pushes me as hard as he can, but he always gives me the benefit of the doubt. So if I tell him, I can't do that, Danny, that's, that's going to hurt me, no issues, and he lets me you know, modify it or even step back and just watch. Um, some of the guys that I train with regularly, uh, David, Judah, these guys, I, um, you know, I talk to them constantly about what's going on with me. I check in with them every couple of days, letting them know how my health is, how my physical health is, how my mental health is, how I'm feeling. And, and to be honest, having this group of guys around me to support me and who know that when I walk off the mats and throw up or um, go sit down because I, I'm too dizzy, you know, things like this. They're not over there wondering what's going on and looking at me funny or treating me differently. They know. And so I think for me personally, my recommendation to you guys, the number one thing you can do is, is set up, is position yourself so that you can have a group, a small group of people. Maybe you live in an area where there's uh, um, you know, lupus self-help groups or something and you could get a little group of people together from that group and you guys work out together or something along those lines. Something where you can hold yourself accountable and you can have other people there who understand. For me personally, I can't do this by myself. I need a tribe, I need a group of people to run things by, bounce ideas off of, you know, that type of stuff. Because otherwise, I am just too hard on myself I either push myself so hard that I, I injure myself or I cause myself, you know, issues with fatigue and a lot of fevers and things like that, or I push myself too hard and I get hurt and I just can't keep doing that. So, 
So for today's video, for the conversation down below, what I would really like to know is, number one, are you guys active? Are you guys, you know, putting effort into physical fitness in any way, shape, or form? Because I know lupus is one of those conditions where uh, physical fitness, working out, activity in general is very difficult. So, you know, do you guys work out? If so, what does that look like? I would really love to know what other people are doing to remain physically active. Second, what struggles have you had related to this? You know, is this something where you guys um, are just okay with where you're at? Or is this something where you get really down on yourself like I do? Is it something where you're constantly questioning, um, you know, should I even be doing this? Is this even worth it? What is it like for you guys? And then lastly, I'd like to know, you know, what is it specifically that allows you to keep coming back? Are you guys, um, you know, are you, do you, do you guys have groups of people that you work with? Is it just a deep knowing within yourself that this is something you have to do? What is it that, that allows you guys to keep coming back? Because for me personally, I have been constantly, constantly teetering on the edge of I should just quit because I can't keep feeling the way I'm feeling about it. I guess that's the bottom line. It's not even the physical struggle that is the worst. It is the mental struggle for me. So for those of you out there that are struggling with this, I'm here with you. I feel you. Uh, let's, let's talk about it down below. And for those of you who have worked your way through this, please let me know how you've done so because it would be um, detrimental to my well-being to know how to get through that. So that's really all I've got for you guys today. Um, again, my name's Ryan. I am a man with lupus, and I will be back with you soon with another video.